I'm hoping you can give me a quick tutorial on the metal analyzer equipment. To start with, how big is the market? Um, estimated, it will be around 1,000 to 2,000 pieces per year in the metals application. And who's buying such equipment? There's a lot of applications possible, but for the main application is uh, metals. And within metals you have uh, two uh, groups. One is the industrial segment, um, so that's uh, new, new metal suppliers. And the other one is recycling business. So that means um, the companies will purchase uh, secondary metals uh, but, or metals that need to be uh, recycled. And, and here's the big question, why are they buying it? Well, in the end it's all about money. So controlling uh, the materials means that you're controlling your metal. Um, uh, for example, in the industrial segment, uh, you buy an instrument because you want to control your process. You want to have insight in what kind of metals are in, in uh, your process. And in the recycling business, um, just a small example, if you have a piece of 304 and a piece of 316 stainless steel, uh, there's around 50 cents per kilo difference. So I don't need to tell you how much money they can earn with uh, analyzing the metals then. Do you think there are enough suppliers to ensure a competitive market? Yes, it's a small market in terms of suppliers, uh, but they are really close to each other in uh, terms of price and technique. So it's always a fight to be one leap ahead in, uh, in terms of uh, price or technique. We mainly try to focus on uh, technique, user friendliness, etc. Uh, I think that's, that's the major point to, uh, to be a step ahead. So what are some of the latest innovations in this area? Um, there's a lot, a lot of developments going on at the moment. Uh, the major step was uh, silicon drift detectors, so the detector to, uh, to analyze, what, what you use to analyze. Um, the last step that has been done is mainly focused on user friendliness, so the weight of the analyzer, uh, the way it's built, um, to make it uh, humidity or, or water splash uh, proof um, and for dust also, so the, that kind of little things are being done in the last uh, period to make the, the analyzer more user friendly. Uh, final question, what do you keep in the cigar box? Well, no cigars obviously, but uh, that's uh, metal pieces. Uh, they are samples which we use to, uh, to check the analyzer to prove people what it can analyze, etc.